Getting a tattoo can be a great way to commemorate a passion or an achievement, including triathlon. Today, I'm getting a tattoo commemorating my achievement of the full Ironman. Watch on as we discuss. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will from Iron Will Multisport Australia, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multisport and endurance events and training. So I already have two tattoos already. One which is on my upper arm, which is mind over matter, which covers sort of my mantra for doing events. And one on my shoulder blade on my back, which commemorates my passion for Kung Fu. Not all people are tattoo people. So if you have strong opinions against tattoos or just don't want to get a tattoo, then you don't need to worry about this video. I'm sharing my experience as someone who loves tattoos. Recently, I completed a full Ironman at Ironman Australia, Port Macquarie. It has been a massive part of my life and something that I am extremely proud of. Triathlon and endurance events in general, so swimming, biking and running, have been a major part of my life. So I've achieved so many life goals, I've raised thousands and thousands of dollars for charity, and I've strengthened and created so many friendships. So without further ado, let's go and get the tattoo. This is probably the last time you'll see this shoulder without any colour on it. So one of the biggest things when getting a tattoo is thinking about what you want to get and what sort of style you want to get it in. So you'll have to do some research into the tattoo artists that are around you, maybe get some referrals, that sort of thing, because you want to make sure that what you get, you like. And I took this step pretty seriously. I spent weeks researching tattoo artists in my area. So once you've figured out the artist that you want to get your tattoo done by, you'll need to contact the shop and book in yourself a consultation. Sometimes these consultations are free, sometimes you have to pay for them. That depends on the shop. At the consultation, you'll need to bring a few ideas of what you want to get tattooed. Now please try and be courteous to your tattoo artist. They are an artist. They're not someone who's just going to copy someone else's design. Ideally, you want to give them some sort of creative freedom. Allow them to be able to come up with part of the design and do it in their style. You'll also have to consider placement of the tattoo. If you get a tattoo that's visible on your forearm or on your hands, face, neck, whatever, that may be a bit of a problem in a professional environment. Uh, if your workplace is okay with that, and if you're sure that your future workplaces are going to be okay with that, then go ahead. But for myself, I try and keep it uh, so that it's able to be covered up by a short sleeve shirt. And also as part of placement, there are certain places on your body which will hurt more than others. My tattoo artist that I had today, Jose at Torasumi Tattoo, uh, he was saying that the palms of your hands are one of the most painful places you can get a tattoo, so try and avoid that. My tattoo today wasn't too bad, it was all just on my shoulder. Once I got to the front, and especially upper sort of shoulder, that started to hurt a bit more. For triathletes, the typical tattoo is the M dot tattoo. And due to when you're in an Ironman, you've got you know the race number here, and on your left calf, you've got your group number. So a lot of people get the M dot tattoo on their right calf. Although I wanted to be a little bit different, I wanted to get it sort of in the same place that the M dot tattoo when I'm doing an Ironman or half Ironman in the place where that would normally be. So once you've met with the tattoo artist and all is peachy, you can set a date and you'll probably have to pay a deposit. And if you have a custom designed tattoo, then the talks about this design will happen leading up to the day of the tattoo. Mine wasn't 100% finalized until this morning. Then once all that's sorted out, all you have to do is get yourself to the session and grit your teeth for a couple of hours. It will be a little painful, unless you like that sort of thing masochist. So what do you need to know for the day? Obviously you want to be respectful to your tattoo artist, so don't get a tattoo straight after you've done a run, a race, or bike ride or whatever. Try and have a shower before you go and have your tattoo so you're smelling nice and fresh. Also try and have a meal in especially the two hours or so leading up to the tattoo. This way you feel satiated throughout it, you also regulate your blood sugar. And a lot of tattoo artists won't allow you to get a tattoo if you've had some drinks. If you've had any alcohol in the about 8 hours leading up to the tattoo, a lot of places will turn you away. Try not to have alcohol before you're having a tattoo. And also if you've had uh, any sort of blood thinners or aspirin, that sort of thing, you may also be turned away. This is because when you're getting a tattoo, they are literally jabbing a needle into you thousands of times and you will bleed 
but if you've taken blood thinners or something like that, you will bleed more. So they try and avoid that. So what does a tattoo feel like? Well, to me, a tattoo feels kind of like sunburn and that someone's digging their nails into it for a little bit. It's not absurdly painful, but it is sore. How long does a tattoo take to get? Well, that depends on the size of the tattoo and the tattoo itself. A tattoo can really take anywhere between maybe 15 minutes up to multiple days. It depends on the size of the tattoo, how many colors you're getting, how much shading there is, how much artwork there is, all the little finer details. It really depends. Although the tattoo I got today took a grand total of about three hours. Will getting a tattoo affect your training? Yes, yes it will, initially. So to begin with, straight after the tattoo, you really shouldn't be swimming for at least a couple of weeks until the tattoo's properly healed. Remember, it is an open wound, so if you go swimming in a pool where there's bacteria and that sort of thing in the pool or in the ocean, you can get an infection and it can get pretty bad. So stay away from that. So ideally you don't want to get a tattoo mid race season and especially don't get a tattoo before any races. If you are going to get a tattoo, probably wait until the end of the season, after your very last race when you know you've got a few months off. You will also need to apply sunscreen or keep it covered, especially the first couple of weeks. And then going on, just into the indefinite future, make sure you cover it up with sunscreen as much as possible. The more sun damage you have on a tattoo, regardless of its age, the more it's going to fade. For tattoo aftercare, the best bet is to follow whatever the tattoo artist recommends. Each tattoo artist does a different style of tattooing and they know how to best heal their tattoos. So whatever they recommend is most likely what you should go for so that you can get the best result from the tattoo artist's tattoo. And there it is. There is my custom tattoo. So this tattoo does have some meaning. Of course, the red of the Iron Man logo in the middle and then the colors for the blue, orange, and green were all colors that I got during the run leg of the Iron Man. So they're each of the run bands. Have you ever had a triathlon tattoo? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you want to check out the video I made about the Iron Man, I'll leave a link up here. If you want triathlon content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.